you write me, booker at bookerlawfirm.com. Your question ends up on the show. Bring you to the court of my public opinion. We're not going to look at this as legal advice because I don't represent you. And I may not have all of the facts that I need. However, I'm going to do the best job that I can with what I have. Without further ado, let's get it crack a lacking. Order in the court. What's up? It's your favorite attorney. All right. And you already know what time it is. Time to combat them Karens 101. Combat and Karens 101. Class is in session. Now, she did some wonderful things. And the first thing that she did, and sometimes you have to always remind people, she let them know whose home it was. Whose home it is. And the reason for this is because there are times that people may be perplexed. They may not know where they are. They may believe that they're at their own home, a friend's home. You have to let them know, hold on, this is my home, or I have a greater right to possession of this property than you do. And what I am asking you to leave, to leave. That's the second thing that you do when you have a trespasser, a Karen that won't go. First, you remind them whose home it is. Then you ask them to leave. Now, you can do this for your grandmother's house, too. You see how you do this? Um, excuse me. You need to leave. This is our home, and you need to go. Okay? As long as you have what's called a parent authority, meaning you look like the person that, that lives in the home, or you look like a homeowner, or you appear to be somebody who has a greater right to the other individual. I mean, sorry, a greater right than the other individual to come into that home. You let them know. Get out. Leave. Okay? So you tell them whose home it is. Two, you ask them to leave. Three, you warn them. Here goes your warning, okay? You always have to warn somebody before you take action. Warn them. You warn the person, okay? And this person was recording it, so that's perfect. She warned the individual, okay? That lady comes back, she's going to jail. This woman has told her, don't come back. She don't, do not be there. Get off my property. I own this. Get your drunk behind on. She's done all of these things, and she's let her know she's not wanted. That woman better not come back on her property again because that's going to be an automatic criminal trespass for that attorney, okay? Automatic criminal trespass, and she's not going to have anything to say because you know that you are not wanted there, you are not welcome, and that if you come there, you are trespassing because they have told you that. Get out, okay? So that's the thing. That's what you do. Number one, you tell them whose home it is. You let them know who you are and that they don't belong. Two, you ask them to leave three you warn them okay that if they continue to stay on your property they'll probably be going to jail because you're about to do what make a record of it okay record okay now the thing about the english language we already know how it is record can also be record okay and old Allie here is an old soul in a young body and i call it the record Okay? You never go to court without your record, without your scholarship. You have to be able to prove what you're saying. Okay? And I call it a record. And the reason I say that is because growing up in church, the older um, people, uh, some of them were from Ledbetter and certain places in East Texas, and they just said words certain ways. Sturdy, ruckle, scholarship. So you'll hear me say things like that, but it's just a joke on uh, ancestors, and it's a joke on the elders in my community and in my family and the way that they say things. It's funny. So the ruckle. So you need to record them, okay? Because you need to make a ruckle, okay? You need the record, okay? And a record is going to be something like a video, um, proof that you've told them, some sort of picture, photograph, a witness stating that you told them and that they heard you, you and the individual stating that they that you told them that and they heard you. You just have to get proof that you warned them. You need to record it so that there is a record. Record it in some way. That recording could be written. It could also be verbal or it could be electronic, okay? However, you need to get it done, but you need to record it and get a record, okay? And then the last thing that you do is you call the police if they don't leave, okay? And the reason that you want to call the police if someone doesn't leave your property is because every property has tied to it what we call different call details, calls for service. And whether or not the police actually show up, as long as you lodge a call, it creates a record with the 911 or non-emergency dispatch system. Dispatch keeps its own records separate from the police, okay? This is also a way for you to find out whether or not the man that you're talking to puts his hands on women if he's been living there. It's also a way for you to find out whether or not, okay, the woman that you're talking to 
lived there prior with another man. Okay, you can run calls for service under public information requests. You can request calls for service. Calls for service are saved, okay? And so you're creating a record once you call the police that is gonna be a government record that is saved, that can have a business record affidavit, that can, somebody can, can testify and attest to its truth and veracity. So it's not just you talking about what happened and the court doesn't have to just take your word for it. The judge doesn't have to just take your word for it. The officer doesn't have to just take your word for it. You'll have all your stuff backed up. And when you have bad neighbors, you need those things. Number one, always tell them whose home it is. Two, ask them to leave. Three, warn them. Warn them it's about to get ugly. Four, record them so you can have a record, okay, of what's going on. Recordings and records are always good because they will back up what you're saying. You need your scholarship to back up what's coming out of your mouth, especially when it's verbal disputes between neighbors and otherwise. Sometimes people don't know who to believe. So the tangible evidence will assist with that. Five, call the police, because you don't have to take that, okay? That's your home. We all have the right to be safe in our homes. We're gonna come back through and discuss what not to do what not to do when someone comes to your home. Because there are times where unfortunately, people have come to our homes possibly to harm us. But guess what? We've walked away with the charge. Why? Because we became the aggressor when the threat was removed. And I wanna teach people about that because we all, a lot of us pack guns to protect our homes, etc. We have to understand when we're allowed to shoot somebody at our house and when we're not, okay? Because we're starting to see, especially with elderly people, them firing at people just turning around in their driveways and going to jail for it, okay? Killing people and going to jail for it, even though the people are on their property. And we did a Karen video not long ago with an Amazon driver and a woman, and this type of thing happens all the time. Make sure you protect yourself from the Karens, okay? By watching my show, Combat, boom, 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 the Karens. It's your favorite attorney, Attorney Allie Booker, and until next time, we'll stand in recess. Bye, class. I think it's time I made that call. I'm locked up and facing charges. Who gon' fight these cases for me? I called with the law firm. They got the job done. They were right there for me. For more information, contact the Booker Law Firm at 713-292-2225.